Emma. It is. Le uh, city leaders blame inflation and supply chain issues. The bond was passed by voters in 2019, and while city staffers factored in 20% for inflation, it wasn't enough. It's staggering. I don't know how we're going to be able to buy all these things. Tonight, concern is growing for city council members like Barry Graham. He's worried about how Scottsdale will fund major improvement projects promised to voters in 2019. I'm very concerned because you when you tell when you go to voters and you tell them that this is about this is about what this will cost you you want to be in the ballpark and unfortunately we're not in the ballpark the 2019 bond program is now expected to cost about 450 million dollars that's 41 percent more than what the city budgeted for this set of bonds uh invest in our police department invest in our parks and invest in many other facilities here in the city City officials point to rising inflation and supply chain issues for the budget hike, but Graham says there were planning mistakes too after staffers underestimated the size of a new public safety training facility. They said that description was inaccurate. There's not a single uh, tra uh, fire training facility in the world that small, and the size was changed to 27,000 uh, square feet, so it was tripled. Replacing workstations at 911 dispatch centers, roadway and pedestrian improvements, and expanding the fire and police training facility. Those are just some of the projects that need more money. We all know that public safety is the most important. If we don't have safety across our, across our community, then everything else, you can, you can throw everything else out the window. Graham says the budgeting shortfalls could lead to cuts or scaling back. Now we have to either cut some projects, we have to raise revenues, or we have to cut other areas and take those revenue sources to reallocate. So it is definitely a question, it is definitely comes down to a question of prioritization. Now, Graham says staff will let city council members know what projects are really urgent or high priority, and they are going through the budget process right now trying to determine how to move forward. Nicole? So, Emma, could city taxpayers have to pay more now because of that budget increase? Well, city officials say this is not an option. When voters pass the bond, the city leaders promised they would not increase taxes to pay for these projects.